Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. And what about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. <laughs> what, what the hell is that exactly? What if every computer could talk to every other computer? What if every computer, irrespective of who made it, which vendor built it, was able to transfer data instantly to any other computer in the world? The internet is a realization of precisely that vision. What do President Clinton, conservative radio personality Rush Limbaugh, and rock star Billy Idol have in common? They've all got electronic mail addresses on computer systems linked to the internet. A new mass media. It's not television, it's not radio, it's not newspapers, but it has elements of every single one of those. And it's a new medium because it's going to be interactive. Today's internet uh, is the best working prototype we have of the uh, the coming information superhighway. It's going to get woven into the daily fabric of our lives. It'll be just like using a telephone. It'll be like using your car on the roads. It'll be like our sewer systems. We take it for granted. Imagine a global university, education without borders, and lectures in your own home. It's very difficult for people to live by the old myths about how institutions really work and how politics really work or how people just as individuals really work in an age of such open and intensive information as that is if that is a future which is marvelous where knowledge becomes instantaneously available to everybody at a touch of a button i'd like to add a word about safety though you have to remember the internet is not a regulated environment so the quality and accuracy of various informational offerings can differ quite a bit. As misinformation and so-called fake news continues to be rapidly distributed on the internet, our reality has become increasingly shaped by false information. The internet was supposed to make us, you know, more savvy, right? How did we get to this point? The president claiming Democrats are politicizing coronavirus and calling it, quote, their new hoax. Instead, a few powerful uh, bad actors are taking advantage of the openness of the internet and they're creating opportunities to deceive people, whether that's creating fake news or creating botnets to spread fake news. Uh, and you have a high level of distrust in institutions, which we do at the moment. Can you, not give you, can, you can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Sir, Go ahead. can you stay? I'm trying to wreck everything I touch, crush it in my clutch. No respect for no act, really gain in my city, give back. I ain't broke, I hate capital. Speak integrity and work radical. Elemental down to basic functions. My eye would keep me tense and like constant. Conducting experiments and lunging for my territory. It's a west side, no a horror story. Your most muscle is mandatory to obtain glory. We found that false news diffused further, faster, deeper, and more broadly than the truth in every category of information that we studied, sometimes by an order of magnitude. 